All right, so we're looking at Mandy Ralph again. I did, uh, I featured a, a clip on my last Friday Fruit Clips. Mandy Ralph, uh, on this video right here, she had prophesied that the rapture was going to take place on the 15th of February. Look at the views here, 25,000. She's then done a couple of updates. And now we're going to listen to her latest update. So guys, um, so I got another message today and I really do think it's coming um, either the 5th or the 6th just because on this message. So prayers for that, guys. Um, I'm excited. I'm actually going to go skiing this weekend. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get raptured out of the hill. <laughs> All right. So, wow, what do I say? The level of spiritual immaturity and outright irreverence to the living God is on full display here. Mandy has moved up her date of the rapture to Sunday or Monday. Now, the first thing I would like to say, or, or the people that I would like to address, would be mature Christians and or the mature men, the mature women, who are even paying heed to this novice social media child of the devil. Shame on you. Shame on you for even entertaining this, even for a second. Shame on you for allowing a YouTube date setter to push out sober-mindedness and doctrine in lieu of ear-tickling fantasy and delusion. All of you should be chastising her to follow Christ in truth and sincerity, but instead you suffer her. And quite frankly, I've seen people encourage her. Now let's address what she said here. Hey guys, the rapture is happening Sunday or Monday, but I'll be on the slopes skiing. Wow. She says, hey guys, Jesus Christ is coming to, you know, harpazo all the saints from off the earth, but I thought it would be most advantageous to strap on the sticks and crush some powder while I kick up snow and, you know, frolic and have fun, swerving and swaying and drinking hot cocoa in the ski lodge, laughing with my friends. Wow. Does this, or, or can this even make sense on any planet in any universe? You know, I'm not going to share the gospel because this is serious with, you know, telling people, preaching to come to Jesus. We only have a couple of days left. No, I'm going skiing. Just incredible. Now, secondly, she says, I hope I don't get raptured off the hill. Just what? You've just prophesied to tens of thousands of people that Jesus Christ has given you messages that the rapture is coming in the next day or two, but somehow you hope you don't get raptured off of the hill during the exact time you said we were going to get raptured. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Mandy, if, if you're listening, let me tell you, you will not be held unaccountable for your toying with people's lives. You will not be held unaccountable for your lying in the name of Jesus Christ. As you goofingly come on social media and make light of one of the most important events which will ever occur in human history, speaking on behalf of God things which God has not spoken. The people that will walk away from Jesus Christ because of what you've done here, their blood will be on your hands. For you, you've decided that playing games with such matters is just, you know, harmless speculation. But for others who, for some reason, will listen to your fake prophecies and then decide that, well, Jesus Christ isn't real because, you know, the rapture didn't happen. They're just going to classify it as being superstitious. They're going to feel foolish. You've caused them to feel foolish. They're going to conclude that Jesus isn't real, all because of what you did. And they're going to walk away from Jesus forever because of you, Mandy. You're destroying lives with your lies. And you're doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be held unaccountable. Now let me show you, or maybe some of you, who have slipped out of reality. Let me show you the truth. In Matthew 24, verse 36, Jesus says, 
but of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But somehow you've believed in your minds that Mandy knows, well, this, this doesn't apply to Mandy. She's discovered Jesus gave her new messages. The angels don't know. And at that time, Jesus didn't know. But Mandy knows an obscure YouTuber who gets all tickled and excited and reads a bunch of verses uh, verses from the Bible that don't even apply to what it is she's trying to sell you, she knows, and you believe her. Unbelievable. Mandy is an example of a person who has no fear of the living God. She's desensitized. She's biblically illiterate. And again, no fear. And she has... No reservations of shipwrecking your faith. I'm talking to the ones who actually believe this. And you know who you are. If I seem harsh, well, I guess I am being harsh. We were told to be sober-minded, to watch for Jesus, and to always be ready. We should have learned from the millions of examples of those who have done the exact same thing. But yet you keep falling for it over and over again when will you make that decision to stop to stop being deceived to stop giving heed to these seducing spirits which want to just keep whispering lies to you you keep believing it it's just again amazing come back to the truth of jesus christ when jesus comes he'll come be ready but in the meantime refute these novice devils and make no mistake because this woman again she's actively shipwrecking faith she's not helping she's hurting people but i guess it's okay because she wears beanies and she's just kind of tickly and goofy it's all harmless it's just speculation but it's real but i don't know i'm going skiing unbelievable wake up 